When we think about pollinator habitat and health, we know it's really important that we're providing pollinator floral resources from early in the spring all the way through late fall. But that's not always easy to do. Today we're going to talk about a great pollinator option that will provide value during the most challenging time of the year. Using wildflowers for bloom period one, April and May, well that can be pretty challenging. There aren't as many species to pick from, they can be expensive, and they're sometimes hard to establish. Well, here's a solution for you. Think about including a shrub planting in your next habitat project. Today's focus has been on the American plum because of its high pollinator value, it's adapted to so many different conditions, and it's so widely distributed across the country but there are several other great choices for shrub species that you could use as well. Choke cherry is another member of the genus Prunus that has a wide distribution. It tends to flower just a bit later than the American plum and produces great fruit for wildlife as well as wonderful tasting jam and jelly. Gray dogwood, that distribution is a bit more limited to the Midwest and the tall grass prairie region, but provides another great option for early season pollinator value. Elderberry is found in a wide distribution, ranging all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast, and it tends to flower a bit later in the spring into early summer. Many shrub species with stone fruit tend to flower early in the season and provide the critically needed floral resources for pollinators. Think about using a combination of shrub species to provide a wider range of spring flowering options as well as wildlife food sources. Including a shrub thicket in your next habitat project that benefits grassland songbirds, pheasants, quail, all kinds of wildlife, but also provides important pollinator floral resources during April and May, now that's great habitat. <laughs>